Welcome back to Guernsey, welcome back to Supercar Island and today we have the V8 Mustang on test. One car that JP has absolutely admired for pretty much all of his life. So he's sitting behind the camera currently grinning like a Cheshire cat, absolutely dying to drive it. Let's check it out. Okay, let's talk about the specs on the car. So the car has a V8 engine, which produces 410 bhp. It also produces 390 uh, newton meters of torque. As you can see, it's fairly large and takes up the majority of the car. So when you are driving, that's pretty much all you can see out in front of you. And don't get me wrong, it is pretty good fun to drive. So from the side of the car, we've got the 19 inch rims, which I must admit with the uh, cherry red, I would have chosen black personally. And behind that you've got Brembo calipers as well and Brembo brakes. Again, possibly you can get those upgraded for vented brakes so they work a little bit better and don't fade under braking. And as you can see, it is a 5 litre V8, only the best. Around the back of the car you can see it's got the classic fastback look. Uh, we've also got a rear reversing camera and the way to actually open the boot is not the uh, traditional uh, way to open it. You'd expect the button to be around here somewhere. It actually isn't. It's just above the number plate here. And our, our friend Damien, who is six foot five, does fit in the back of the boot fairly well. Normal. <laughs> okay. Inside the car, what toys do we have to play with? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I started driving it this morning was that the handbrake is in the weirdest place I've ever seen. I would presume that because the car has been switched from left-hand drive to right-hand side for the UK, in the US, this would be in the normal place, but however, in the UK, it's on the left and it's very, very strange indeed. Manual, six speed. You've also got various toggle switches down here, which will control both mode, heated steering, traction control, and your hazard lights. Above that, you've got your air con, both heated and cooled seats. You've also got a fairly intuitive uh, infotainment system, which again, you can pair your phone to. It's got sat nav, it's got all the usual bits and pieces that you would expect to find on a car from 2017. In addition to that, on the steering wheel, you've also got your cruise control uh, buttons. You've also got uh, access to your phone answering infotainment controls for your volume. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you've also got access to your light switches, which again, you can set to automatic or manual, depending on what your preference is. So moving to the back of the car again, the Mustang Fastback is sold as a four seater. However, we want to test that theory. Can you actually fit a human being in the back of this car? Again, we're getting demo in to uh, test this particular theory out. Damo has uh, been in the army for four years. four years, so he has had experience, you know, clambering about a bit throughout the fields and that. However, a little bit different today where he has to clamber across the back seats. Let's see if he can do it. After you, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you feeling? Condensed. Condensed. All right. Next test. <coughs> can we actually put the seat back? And can a human being get in the front? I'm being compacted. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Good points for the Mustang there. <laughs> so now we've had a quick look around the car. Let's do the most important thing. Let's take it for a test drive and see what we think.
absolutely amazing to drive. It's, you know, typical American muscle. I don't really have that much precision in the steering wheel, so in comparison to, say, my Alpha, it's not as accurate when you're turning around. Uh, it's a bit more laid back, uh, as I would call it. However, that's, you know, all, it's, it's all to one side because the fact that you've got a thumping great V8 in front of you uh, and just that alone and the soundtrack that it produces is perfect. Anyone driving this car will have a massive grin on their face and for smiles per gallon, as we like to say, it's definitely up there. Other features of the car that we uh, didn't talk about just before though, you have got uh, a race apps uh, screen right in front of you when you're driving the car. And on that, you have different options available to you such as line lock, so that gives you the ability to actually sit there and burn out, if you will. Uh, you've also got launch control, which we haven't yet tested, and uh, various other options, track timers, that sort of thing. So even if you want to take it to the track or you know, onto the uh, drag strip for the quarter mile, you've got all the toys and gadgets that you'd actually need to you know, see what uh, your times are. Other modes that you have got on the car as well while you're driving, uh, there's a switch down here, which is this one just here. This will take you through the different options that you have uh, in regards to your drive mode. So at the moment I'm driving around in normal, you've got Sport Plus, Race and also Snow Wet. Uh, at the moment we just, like I said, driving around in normal mode. Sport Plus just firms everything up, makes the throttle response a bit sharper. Uh, but uh, certainly interesting because when you put it in race it turns all traction controls off and all these stability controls so it makes the car very lively indeed. So JP and I have been thinking of ways to summarise uh, the Mustang and I think the wording we came to a conclusion on was that it's a value for money V8. You're getting all of that muscle car for under 30 grand. And today alone in Guernsey at Trust Ford, this car is 28,995, which you can't go wrong. Like I said, V8 for under 30 grand. I want to give a massive uh, thanks and a shout out to Martin at Trust Ford as well. The guys up there have been really, uh, really kind to us lending us the car for today. So massive shout out to them and thank you very much. So thanks again guys for watching, we hope you liked the video, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, give us a thumbs down if you didn't, and we'll see you in the next one.